hello guys and welcome back to this video it's leonard here again and in today's video tutorial we are going to be talking about risk management in crypto trading okay and what i'm going to share with you right here can be applied whether you're trading spot okay or features but particularly we are more concerned with features traders okay so if you trade derivatives then this is the best way that you can actually start managing um you know your capital very well one thing i want you to understand okay i'm not going to bore you with you know definitions of risk management and all of that i'm going to show you um give you okay practical examples on how to manage your capital all right if you decide to lose the money in one trade guys okay you will no longer have money to trade in the market so money management is very important in the business of trading okay it is when you are able to manage your capital very well that you'll be able to continually grow that capital okay gradually to a reasonable amount of money if your account size is from ten thousand dollars and above then you can raise between one and two percent of your capital but if you have between a thousand dollars below then just follow this strategy so if your account size is between a thousand dollars and below all right you are expected to raise 20% of your account, okay, 20% of your trading capital per day, all right, 20% of your trading capital per day. So let's assume that you have $1,000, 20% of $1,000 will be $200. That is what you will risk per day in all of the trades you are going to be taking, okay? So um, you'll be risking out of this 20% that you'll be entering trades with in the day, okay, you'll be risking between 5 to 10% per trade or per signal. For those of you who take advantage of all the signals, that we share on the platform all right a practical example would be um let's say you have 100 dollar okay your account size or trading account is a hundred dollar all right so if you are risking 20 percent per day what that simply means is that 20 percent of 100 dollar which is 20 dollars is what you are expected okay to enter a trade with per day you can actually enter a trade you know the more margin you put into your trade the more money you stand to make but you will not because you want to make more money risk the whole of your capital in one trade if you do that and you get taken out of the market guys you will no longer have money to trade okay because some of us are fond of trading without putting stop losses all right and when you enter the market with the whole of your capital without using stop losses and you get liquidated okay you will lose the whole of your capital so please stick to this you risk 20 percent of your capital per day so if your capital, okay, the, the, the size of your capital is hundred dollar, twenty percent of that hundred dollar will be twenty dollars. This is what you are expected to risk per day, okay, trading. All right. So let's assume that you get four signals in a day, okay. Remember, you only risk twenty percent, right? Let's assume you get four signals in a day. So you want to divide those signals, okay? You want to divide the twenty percent of your capital. If it is a thousand dollars, if it is five hundred dollars, if it is hundred dollar you divide it by those four signals all right let's assume you are going to take four signals per time okay like at a go okay then you divide that twenty dollars among those four signals if it is just one signal you can go all in with that twenty dollars okay and then put your stop losses and all of that all right so if you divide your you know twenty dollars by four signals it means that for each trade you'll be risking five dollars to enter that trade okay so you are expected to risk five dollars per trade let's say i'm going to take four trades at a time okay for those of you who follow us on telegram and all of that we at times we share signals because i have other traders who do share signals on the platform let's say i share two signal another trader comes and share two signal another trade comes. you know at the time some days i share more than four signals right so let's assume that you are going to enter a trade with you know like up to four signals at a go then you are expected to risk twenty dollars and that twenty dollars if you divide it by four you are risking five dollars per trade okay so that is what you are going to be risking per trade all right let me further give you an example of how this will save you okay so let's say that you took these four signals in a day and each signals okay um tp let's say it gives you between 2x to 3x for the first signal let's assume that this hit tp and then it gives you like three times whatever that you risk which is five dollars okay if this hit tp so it means that you risk five dollars all right and you got fifteen dollars in profit all right so you got fifteen dollars in profit so your total um account size right now will be fifteen dollars with that first trade okay and then the second trade his stop loss all right remember that you enter that trade with five dollars right now okay your account size is 115 dollars and you lose five dollars all right your account will still be up by what 
ten dollars okay so now you now have extra ten dollars to you know you know uh, actually risk in a trade okay let's go to the third trade the third trade hit tp all right of with a 2x okay uh let's say it gives you times two of whatever you risk in that trade so you risk five dollars to get ten dollars all right so you made a profit of ten dollars if you add this ten dollars to the previous one round ten dollars that you have already you now have one round twenty dollars okay so and then the next trade actually hits stop loss if this is stop loss remember that you risk only five dollars in this you are going to risk that uh, lose that five dollars so at the end of the day taking four trades and you lose two and you win two okay maybe with a, a one to two or a one to three risk to reward ratio okay your account will still be up by a hundred and fifteen dollars all right and then the next day what you want to do is to risk 20 percent of this 115 dollars that you have all right and you go that way again and again and again and again all right the reason why you want to take multiple trades is that some of the trades okay some of the signals will you know actually not go well some will go well so for those that don't go well you will make it up with the ones that go well all right for those that don't go well you make it up with the one that go, goes well for you all right so if you have a thousand dollars it will now be 200 okay wherever you see 20 dollars you replace that by you know 200 dollars and all of that so guys this is basically how you can actually manage your account don't be greedy okay uh don't because you want to make money by all means always enter a trade with the whole of your capital all right now how do you know the 20 percent that you are going to use how do you know that you are going to use 20 percent and all of that because when you go to buy the interface is different by the way if you don't have a buy account guys use the link okay that i've provided in the video description to sign up for a buy account and you get all of the welcome bonuses that buy actually offer to you so if i switch to my buy now let me show you what is possible and how you can be managing all of these risks okay all right guys so here i am on my buy bid okay um i prefer and i recommend that you use buy bid in futures trading okay whenever you are doing derivative trading just make sure that you're using buy bid which is why i will advise you sign up with the link i've provided below and then join us on telegram to take advantage of all the free signals that we share there daily okay so if i come in here first you want to select the token that you want to trade after that you are going to choose whether you want to use cross margin or isolated all right if you don't know how to do what all of this means make sure you see the video that i've made on how to trade features on bybit okay then after that you select your leverage all right now once you've made up your mind to raise you know maybe five dollars per trade or twenty dollars per trade the leverage for me doesn't really count okay you can use as high leverage as you want you can use as low leverage as you want but one thing you want to understand about leverage is that the higher this leverage okay the quicker the money you make and then the quicker you get taken out of the market all right so once you are sure of a trade you can increase your leverage to make quick money for yourself okay so now after that you are going to be using any other type of your choice okay so there are a lot of other types here whatever whether is market order conditional scale order okay all of them all works okay for instance if i go in market order now with market order i don't have the option to put price but you have the option to enter the quantity of the trade you want to trade okay you can enter the quantity in usdt you can enter it in in the token you are trading so if i go ahead and click on this option where we have usdt here all right so i can click on that and decide to choose order by quantity which is the first one so the order by quantity will be the quantity of the token all right of that particular token you are you are going to trade then you have this slider here this is what you are going to use to measure the 20 percent so if i go ahead and select that slider remember this is the size of my capital all right this is what i have here 142 dollars so if i go ahead and use this slider okay so the more i drag you see five percent okay ten percent all right to fifteen percent okay twenty percent all right so this is what i'm actually going to use remember if i'm going to take like four trades then i'm going to divide that twenty percent by you know four okay so that will give me around five percent per trade so i can use five percent and that is going to be costing me around seven dollars per trade okay so i go ahead and set that and then i can click open long or open short and enter that trade then after that i can set my tps before i enter the trade or i can set my tps after i've entered the trade okay so now if i go ahead and click on the set tp option and all of that i'll go ahead and click on you know um use the sliders here okay or just put the tp price here or put the tp in percentage and all of that then you go ahead and enter that trade 
okay so that's basically how this works you go ahead and enter that trade and you are good to go all right so if i decide to change to limit order okay the same thing you will still see there all right here you have the option to add your price okay so you add your price here then you can add the quantity the same thing use the slider to add that quantity if you want to use 20 percent you go ahead and use the slider okay let's say i want to use five percent the same thing goes there and then i can set my tps if i want and my stop losses okay go ahead and click on confirm once i do that the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and open long okay so if i go ahead and click on the open long option right this dialog box pops up here it will tell you okay where your liquidation price will be okay where your stop loss and take profit and all of that are but here because i'm using cross margin and i'm going to be risking just seven dollars out of a hundred and something um 40 something dollars okay there is no liquidation because i'm using cross margin all right but if i go ahead and switch from cross to isolated margin okay and then i go ahead and click on open long you'll see that i'll be liquidated if this token actually gets to around six dollars all right i'll be liquidated if this token gets to six dollars that is when i'm going to be liquidated that is six point six dollars okay but remember that my stop loss here is around okay i'm taking profit when this token gets to eight dollars and my stop loss is around seven dollars so before it hits liquidation liquidation means that i will lose the whole of this seven dollars when i get liquidated but if you hit my stop loss guys what i'm going to be losing in this trade okay if i go back to that set tps and stop losses okay what i'll be losing in this trade is just one dollar all right and then if it goes to hit my tp i'll be making ten dollars and all of that all right but if you don't set tp here and you allow this trade to liquidate then it means that you'll be losing the whole of that seven dollars or the five dollars or the ten dollars that you enter that trade with okay that's basically how risk management works okay just to recap don't ever enter a trade with the whole of your capital except you know what you're doing all right um if you don't know what you're doing guys always risk a certain amount of your capital even if, it, if even if your capital is 20 dollars don't enter the trade with the whole of the 20 dollars but if you understand and know what you're doing you can enter with the whole of that capital i hope this video is helpful if it is guys smash that like button okay and if you are new to the channel make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell okay to be the first to be notified whenever we publish videos like this on the channel okay once again join us on telegram take advantage of all the free signals that we share there and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you sign up with bybit okay and then send me your uid if you do sign up verify your account and fund it send me your uid for some welcome bonuses for you all right thank you and i'll see you in the next video